I do not know. I cannot say that whether LTE is going to be finished because I am not a military expert. But what I want to say is that the defeat of LTT at the military ground is being translated into the defeat of political, national aspirations of the Tamil and also Muslim people in this country by certain uh, warmongers, fundamentalist, racist groups in the south. That is very bad. That is what I say, I always say, Tamil people feel more vulnerable today than any time in the history of this country. Because LTT is not is a creation of the past history of Sri Lanka. In the past history, successive governments, by their mistakes, by not agreeing with the Tamil democratic leaders, had in turn created LTT and Mr. Prabhakaran. Prabhakaran and LTT did not fall from the sky. They were created from the ground in Tamil dominated areas by the discriminations. So unless or until this government or any government which is willing to bring a solution to the ethnic issue, the national question, addresses the root cause, the national issue, the ethnic issue, this condition is going to continue for any more years. That is what I want. So I don't know whether there's going to be a post LDT era. If that is so, this government should see that uh, a political solution for Tamil people which could uh, be uh, based on the equality of all the communities in this country but there should be a self-rule in the Tamil dominated areas within one United Sri Lanka. That is the basic minimum condition I believe.